Ooh. Hi everyone! <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird. Okay, so I haven't done this in a long time, but hi everyone! Yes, I'm back. So I have been getting a lot of messages. When am I gonna start making videos again? give me some give you guys some life updates and stuff so as much as you guys missed me being on vlogs creating content i've missed it too so much i just haven't really had the time and i just had to heal from okay but anyway i'm back and i'm just so excited to share so many things that's been going on with me as you guys have seen if you do follow me on instagram um i am married <laughs> and i am expecting a baby this october so i'm super excited for that other than that dev and i actually wanted to try making videos before he left however it did not go as planned because we just couldn't we just couldn't stop laughing i'll show you guys some videos that we actually tried so there's proof I started off. Why are you, why are you looking down? <laughs> hmm? No, restart. No, restart. <laughs> restart. No. Okay. Baby. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. I'm not gonna cut that. <laughs> okay, this is our twentieth time starting an intro. Baby, you can't do that. We're gonna get banned, and this is our first video. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, what does the baby look like? Let's see. <laughs> I tried facing that way. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I feel like it's me. Like her dad. Yeah, Same sorry we look still. so crusty right now. It's really hot and there's again there's no power. And yeah. Yeah, we're still we're still affected by the typhoon. <laughs> we're still affected <laughs> by the typhoon. <laughs> we're so Baby. obnoxious. Whoa. Okay, explain to them how we shower. What do we use? Go. So we filled up what? an empty trash can, obviously a clean one. Because <laughs> we're not savages. And you have to be loud because the generator. We use. The what bucket. is that called? That's not a bucket. What is it called? Uh, the Filipino word for it. So I turn the T. Tap it. Tabo. Tabo. Yes, we use a tabo. This right here <laughs> is an iPad. <laughs> That's our little um This is our little TV that we've been using. And tell them and what we've, we've been watching. We've been streaming Riverdale. Streaming. Oh. You've been so we've been binging on, Riverdale. Yeah, we're so, on season what? Season five? We're on season five. So what we do 17. is we do go to a place that has Wi-Fi on the road. Yeah, because we don't have Wi-Fi or service here. Yeah. So we go uh -huh. try to find Wi-Fi on the road and we download so we can watch for the night. So this has been keeping us busy. License and registration. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been keeping us busy throughout this typhoon. Yeah, so as you guys saw, we did try to make videos two months ago. That was post-Typhoon Mawar. We tried to actually share with you guys about our marriage and our pregnancy. But as you saw, it didn't work out because we kept messing up. And in advance, apologies. I keep looking to the sides. Again, I'm not used to this anymore. I haven't vlogged and I just feel really nervous for some reason. Even if I'm just talking to you guys and talking to the camera, I still feel very nervous. 
Um, I'm just in my car waiting. Ooh, what the heck? Anyway, as you guys can see, I'm just in the car chilling and it started raining. I'm about to pick up mail because Dev and I have been using mail to communicate. Anyway, let's get into that. So another life update. Dev did join the military. Um, he joined the army. He's in basic training right now. Um, we actually decided on keeping it a secret, but you guys are going to find out anyway. And if there's a way you guys are going to find out, why not here, right? I really miss him. And unfortunately, he won't be here when I give birth, I think. Or I already set my mind that he wouldn't be here when I give birth. And it's okay because, you know, sometimes we have to make sacrifices for our future. And I already put my mind to it that he won't be here and it's okay. I'll take care of myself right now. I'll take care of our baby while he's away. And anyway, he's doing this for me and baby, for our little family. So, you know, sacrifices and it'll be worth it at the end. Although it does make me sad and I do wish that he was here to experience um, me giving birth for the first time, of course, and then also taking care of the baby the first few months. But again, sacrifices. And yeah, back to our communication. He usually calls me every Sunday for an hour um, and then we write letters to each other. I usually check the mailbox every monday wednesday friday just to check you know and then i write to him once a week um there's not much things to do on island on guam if you know what i mean <laughs> all i've been doing these days is just work go home spend time with family and rest that's all that's why whenever i receive mail from him there's always a bunch of letters a bunch of stuff that he always talks about he updates me from his weekly trainings which is nice to hear it gives me a sense of comfort knowing what he's doing that he's doing fine him venting to me on the other hand when i write back to him it's the same thing the only difference is that i always update him with my pregnancy how i'm feeling at the moment or for the whole week um if i did something like go out with family hang out with friends then i'll update him Okay, now let's talk about my pregnancy. I am 34 weeks pregnant. So that makes it six more weeks or less before I give birth. And I used to be super scared and nervous about it. But at this point, I'm just excited. I'm excited and I want to get this baby out of me. I've been trying to prepare myself mentally. That's why I'm less scared than I was before. I know usually women don't hit the 40 week sometimes it's on time sometimes you go over sometimes you go sooner so i'm hoping that i don't really go over my due date it's okay if i go like a week or two um early than my due date but i'm not trying to go past 40 weeks i'm trying to get this baby out of me i actually feel really good i haven't been feeling any back pains my feet aren't swollen i don't know if my face is swollen comment below if you think my face is swollen <laughs> or if i look swollen i feel better way better than my second trimester so my first trimester was the only time i ever felt sick second trimester i started feeling like myself again but i wasn't confident with how I looked like for some reason my face to me looked super different and I, I was getting back pains my second trimester but once I hit third trimester it's so weird because I'm getting bigger like I, I feel me getting bigger and I see it I see my stomach getting bigger but I don't have much back pains and I'm also sleeping very good Usually they say that insomnia is going to hit you on your third trimester. But for some reason, thank God, <laughs> I don't. Baby's been really active morning and night. Um, what else? Maybe the only negative thing I could say that I'm feeling right now is heartburn. That's it. Even her kicks. Moms that experienced this before, they tell me that whenever the baby kicks them up here in their ribs, it hurts. 
but I feel kicks here and it doesn't really hurt. It just feels uncomfortable, but it's tolerable. It's not like, ow, you know? <laughs> um, what else? Contractions. There's this thing called Braxton Hicks. They say it's like practice labor contract, practice labor contractions, but I haven't really been feeling it. I would, like, I would feel a little tightening, but it'll only be for like a few seconds. And once I start rubbing my belly or if I change positions or start walking, it goes away. So again, it's not really a problem. It's just really my heartburn. Ooh, and cravings. Oh my God. I've been eating so many sweets lately. It's crazy. Like I can't go a day without eating sweets. Also, don't worry because I did pass my sugar test and I'm negative for gestational diabetes, which means like diabetes you get when you're pregnant. So I was really scared for that test, for that lab test, because I've been eating a lot of sweets, especially my second trimester. Or once I hit my, like my mid second trimester, I started eating a lot of sweets. And then when my third trimester hit, I had to get, like I had to eat sweets every single day. Either eat or drink something sweet, I don't know. But thank God again that I don't have it which means I'm safe. Okay, anyway, I feel like I've been here for so long already. I need to meet up with Kaylee. Um, we have a pedicure date together, so I need to go. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a haul, a baby haul. I don't know if I should put it in this video, like connect it, or if I should make another video for it. Probably make another video for it. Yeah, maybe, but anyway, it's raining again, okay. Trying to beat the traffic because she's already there and I'm only into morning. And we're gonna get our nails done at Savvy Nails and that's in Daddy Do. And it's already like 4.05. And if you know, Guam traffic starts around like four to five. I mean, Guam traffic isn't that bad, but you know, I'm not trying to make her wait or I'm not trying to be late because I did plan this and thankfully her schedule is free because this girl is also having a um, a tour in the mainland. But anyway, she leaves soon. So I'm just really thankful that she's able to make time for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna drive. Um, I'm gonna turn this off because I wanna drive safe and i feel like if i keep recording i'm gonna be distracted so peace hi everyone as you can see i'm home but i didn't get to film earlier when kaylee and i met up because <clears throat> we were just so busy catching up and talking i haven't seen her for a month and yeah taking a video and even a picture it wasn't in my mind at the time i only thought about it later on but thank god i didn't think about vlogging or taking a video earlier because my toes are cute okay i haven't gotten a pedicure in a long time and when i say long time i think it's been like almost two months i know it's kind of gross but mama i don't have time i've been working tutoring and just sleeping and hanging out with family to the point where everything is closed by the time I'm free. So, yeah, <laughs> good thing I didn't record. But anyway, um, I'm gonna conclude this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, just to let you know, I'm using my phone to record these videos. So I apologize if the quality sucks. I am trying to invest in a camera um, soon enough, hopefully. But for now, I'm trying to just buy some baby stuff, you know, prepare for baby. A camera isn't really an option at the moment. You know, my iPhone works and yeah, <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say anyway. Apologies also again if my thoughts are just scrambled in these videos because again, it's been a while I haven't done this and yeah, hopefully in the next few videos, I'll get it back. But here's a sneak peek of my baby bump. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go now. Good night, everyone. And thank you again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and comment below what kind of videos you guys want to see because <clears throat> I will try my best to make more content maybe every week, every two weeks. Yeah. 
Thank you, guys. I love you. Bye!